Hello guys and welcome back to some World of Tanks. Today I'm going out in the Nameless and the Edelweiss. Uh, two two games in the, in the Nameless and one game in the Edelweiss. Um, these two tanks are the rarest tanks in uh, World of Tanks console uh, because they were licensed from another company and obviously when that ran out uh, they, they have decided not to uh, reapply for the licensing to sell these again um, and I highly doubt they will um, and I've been trying to get marks on these things um, probably uh, you know like I said I, I've gone down most of the lines I want to go down uh, and I've been doing that since the very start of when the game came out on the beta um, um that's what i've been doing and then i decided this year i'm going to go for try to get save up for silver and then i'm going to go for marks of excellence <clears throat> um i got the silver finally uh, and so i'm now working on the marks of excellence now chosen the two probably two hardest tanks to actually do that on um obviously it's easier the more common the tanks are the easier it is to mark the mark the tanks and obviously these are rare tanks um so these have been so difficult to mark uh, i actually started uh, uh, this is like from one play session uh, i spent about two three hours playing and i started on 84.5 percent so all i had to do was have a decent game and i would have uh, got the second mark straight away Obviously, that did not happen. I had many terrible games, and I actually went down to 80 point something percent. So I went down 4%. Absolutely gutting. Very annoying. Um, now, we're going to pick on this tier 10 here. Not sure what he's doing. He absolutely sees red. I've got one shot into him. He's seen red, and he's just gunning for me for some odd reason. Um, now that's, that seems to be a case of tier tens. Look, one shot into him. He thinks he's uh, since he's got a better of me. Uh, and there we go. Finish finish him off. And no idea why he did that. Uh, thought I was an easy prey, obviously, uh, and for some reason very annoyed that I put a single shot into the guy. Um, <clears throat> so yeah and uh this has tank hasn't aged well at all um it's suffered with the two recent big updates um people didn't uh, didn't rate it very highly when it first came out i actually thought it was quite good when it first came out not so much now <clears throat> um bit of a shame trying to track him duck back People getting my way, bit annoyed by that. Could have done. Don't know why the light tanks pushed in there. So we've got two thousand combined already. That is enough to probably go up, or at least stay the same uh, on my mark of excellence. Um, so at the moment, when it comes to that mark of excellence, you gotta just go for it. Really, uh, sometimes I play a bit too caution, uh, cautiously. Uh, that's obviously because of you don't want to be taken out straight away you want to get the maximum amount of uh damage you can but you can't play too cautiously either um because you just need to get damage it doesn't matter whether your tank gets damaged you just gotta go for it um when you have see the opportunity to do to do that uh and like i said a bit too cautious sometimes so i'm definitely going up um i reckon about 2500 is what you need to get up to the second mark um not sure about third mark i quite literally only just second mark this this thing uh in this battle i'm still got the first mark of excellence on it um but yeah pretty pretty bad choice on my front to go for these two tanks first <clears throat> when it comes to marks of excellence they're pretty frustrating pretty hard especially with two plus the moment just means it's that much more difficult to actually mark these things um 
because they uh, the name list just is not competitive at facing tier tens at all. Um, so again, and they st- and are still quite annoyed by the fact they ha- Wargaming hasn't even mentioned the bug of the gun sh- uh, barrel po- pushing into the into the air um, when you're looking at objects and uh, rocks and buildings and stuff. Quite annoying. <clears throat> um, they haven't even mentioned that they haven't even addressed it. Uh, they have addressed the uh, rations when you uh, when the rations run out or kick back in again. Uh, your um, aiming is put off quite a bit. Um, so quite. So they are thinking about fixing that. They should have done that a long time ago. But hey, it's war gaming, right? Try to push out as much money-making stuff as you can. And just avoid fixing the original problems. <clears throat> so there you go. And there we get hit by shit bomb, and then we get finished by a waffle. Who both two tier ten TDs decided to push around and uh, attack me. And the annoying thing is, um, yeah, I reported him. Um, just getting frustrated at this point. I, it, nothing will happen. Uh, so yeah, but that's what I'll, that's you know, that's what happens when you're up against tier tens all the time. And this game is like, where are my team right now? They're they're camping at the back. Uh, the majority of our team was camping at the back, not helping at all. Um, and yeah, uh, now they decide to push. Now they just dis- now I'm dead. They decide to push, which seems to be always the case. As soon as you know, I'm there pushing up. I'm a tier eight pushing tier tens because uh, we want to actually win the game. Um, and my team are just sat at the back, not 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 helping. Uh, just sitting there and then once I'm dead they all decide to push up and actually finish the game because um, and I'll tell you why it's so frustrating um, if I had uh, I had my team there to push up um, uh, they could have distracted the enemy uh, I could have put a couple of more shots in uh, and that would have put, probably maybe even push me up to my second mark. Uh, that's the that's the main annoying thing with this game. At the, uh, is uh, I could have probably got the second mark of excellence on this game. Um, just and we still came first. We got four kills in a tier ten game. Um, very frustrating tank to play actually. Um, simply because of the. Um, Lack of gun depression. Gun depression on this tank is absolutely abysmal. That's the major letdown of this tank. We've got first class as well, which goes to show people are not having good games in this thing. Uh, it is a difficult, very difficult tank to use. Uh, tier 8, and I've only got 3,000 combined damage, and that's wherever you have a first class. There you go. See you in the next match. All right, second match. Uh, I'm pretty sure this might have been the one I got the second mark. I'm not 100% sure. Um, Mountain Pass. I believe... No, we're not... Yeah, we're not... Yeah, we're... Bottom tier again, guys. Um, Honestly, like I said, I've chosen the wrong time to try the second mark. uh, Get marks of excellence on this thing. Simply because it's 2 plus minus 2. And this thing is not competitive at bottom tier. Um, you know, um, I, yeah, again, I think, um, this isn't a particularly good tank anymore. Um, don't get me wrong. It's, it's not, it's a terrible one to try to mark it's, but you can still, if you, uh, only intend to go out in it to have a bit of fun from time to time, it is a nice tank. You can have a good game. You can have good games in it. It's just not very um, reliable. Uh, now, I can, as you can see again, my team just just sitting around, just sitting around the spawn area, uh, and 
basically that they we know they've taken this this side so we've got we're pretty much stuck um in a small part of the map um and i'm just kind of waiting here waiting for the enemy to t turn up and hoping that i'll get a lot of assisted from from here right <clears throat> but that's that's again another problem tier nines and tier tens even though they're well behind me they're probably going to outspot the enemy and get all the assisted but we'll see we'll try to get as much assist as we can here um just obviously it's it's too late already people are not willing to push up to that corner now because they know the enemy will be there now centurion just looking straight at us we're gonna bounce a lot of shots here guys that leopard i don't know crazily just came shooting across there i don't know what he expected to see uh, uh i <laughs> i don't know why he presumed that would be no one here to fight him but obviously there is and again we're bouncing shots and that, that head comes straight off of that tank um we're gonna have a problem with that machine that machine's gonna cause us the most problem here um again aim for his cupola bounce uh pen rather and he tries to go for our cupola i don't know whether he actually hits it but he um and that guy gets two shots into us before he falls back he bounces one and uh, we get this guy in place get one shot of damage into him <laughs> um and yeah just kind of waiting and it looks like both the machine and the type 60 whatever it is uh japanese tier 9 uh is are now falling back uh i'm pushing um hoping to get their rear um and i've actually got some teammates to follow me he's not he's falling back of course bounced for some odd reason bounced it about i've seen to be bouncing a lot of my shots recently um so when we get a shot into him we try to track him at the same time didn't happen unfortunately didn't happen but um he gets taken out uh yeah we've definitely won this game but <clears throat> um just because they crazily shot all shot around the corner there they could have easily won this game because they had map control and the machines disappeared i thought he came up here uh it looks like he didn't but i'm gonna looks like a lot of their team is in the middle of the valley for some odd reason i don't know why they want to throw their tanks away so we put that a shot into that super congora um and he's just coming down here and we're putting shots into him and he's gonna look at us guys he's gonna look at us he puts a shot into whatever tank was next to me instead um but he's gonna keep his eye on me uh which is quite quite annoying because we just want to get a bit more damage off um we might as well wait until he's dead uh and he's turned around and then we're gonna look at this shot guys look at this shot bounces off the side uh looking down on this dragon so annoying uh really just needed a bit more damage and to be denied in that way is very very annoying i don't know um armor seems to be more a lot more effective at the moment um oh, i don't know if that's just me um but i seem to be bouncing a lot of shots recently and it's quite annoying i've got i had premium uh rounds loaded for that dragon i believe um and i was looking down on him uh still still bounced ridiculous and almost got a shot into it again but the gun depression really hurt me there uh, so we got 4,000, just over 4,000 combined. That is a very good game in this thing. We come first. We didn't even get any kills, unfortunately. Uh, it would have been nice to get at least one or two kills from that game. But there you go. You can have good games in this thing. It's just not very consistent with that. First class, and oh, we'll, oh there you go. It wasn't, it wasn't my uh, second mark on that, on that game, but we did, got it shortly after. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Anyway, right, the Edelweiss, um, the other Valkyria Chronicles tank uh, that went along with the Nameless. This tank has fared a lot better with uh, all the updates and stuff. Um, I'll go for a 
Uh, I'll probably go for a review of the Nameless and the Edelweiss later on. I've, I've already done one back when they first released, but since I'm trying to mark them, I'm going out in them a lot. I'll, I'll probably do a review of them again. But there we go. I missed that. I don't know how. Pretty much looked uh, pretty much face on to him. Bit annoying that. There you go. Trying to avoid getting hit by artillery. Now, it's not a good sign. Um... Uh, <laughs> Basically, well, there you go. Uh, say GG, because that was <laughs> that was fun to watch. Um, we are actually a tank up, but our team is camping, uh, and uh, they've taken the the middle of the map, that hill there, it's, which is basically means if you take that hill, it's a very good chance you're going to win, but we are in this game top tier i believe um now this means we can have uh, a very good game uh because this tank is still a decent tank uh this craft panther here uh it's gonna just go sideways on to us uh and we're gonna have a good time put a shot into that is at the top of his turret there uh and then we're gonna get shot by the craft path we're gonna track him in place and just take him out i don't know i wouldn't i didn't even track him he just someone else must have tracked him i guess um because he would just stay there and let us hit him uh and this t77 is gonna do us dirty here put all of his shells pretty much into me <sighs> very annoying i was very annoyed at that point i was thinking right finally top tier i can actually have a decent game try to get up my marks of excellence and that t77 just comes around the corner avoids the th like three or four other tanks uh, and just puts his shot into me which is quite annoying because he probably could have taken another tank out of the action um which would probably you would have done him better uh, but he didn't. He went for me. He didn't take me out. Managed to finish. Managed to take him out. Our team managed to take him out. Now we are on a precarious 600 odd hit points, which is not the best. Um, and the game is quite equal at this point. Um, but we have still got the advantage. And unfortunately, we've met probably the worst tank to far, uh, to actually see is uh the polish tier eight uh heavy tank um he's a dangerous tank i know because i've got that tank and it is very good um it's got great armor it's got a high alpha gun now he's being distracted by this light tank we're going to try to take advantage of that um and he is actually going to change his there we go try to track it in place as well didn't happen this light tank comes over trying to take out that light tank and we're just going to pull back we don't want to take a hit from that heavy if we can help with it we're going to pit we're going to be stuck in this position for a little bit uh just trying to play with this um heavy on the hill here which is again quite annoying because i'm kind of stuck here i kind of want to be in the action now i want to be racking up as much damage as i can and it's just not happening this guy is right pain i'm trying to get our artillery <clears throat> to take care of him uh i have no idea why our um artillery isn't taking it he's pushed right down again we try to uh hit his track but for some reason we hit him pen him but damage his gun i'm not sure where i hit him there um but yeah, he's um, he's taking me down to basically a one shot for him, uh, which is again annoying. And we still got two guys at the cap, um, not really doing anything. I think of a, I think that medium might be AFK. I don't think he's moved since just the game started. Um, now we can take this um, Polish tank out of the game. Um, but again, so can he. So we've got, we've got to be very careful here. Now, the, now we've managed to take him out. 
because he pushed us. It was all a matter of waiting for him to push us. And then we just dodge a, t a, 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 a gun, and it's the dragon. Uh, I don't know what's going on here. He actually does hit us, but he doesn't pen. He doesn't even. He's not using Hesh. He's not even. He didn't pen. He didn't splash us. He didn't do nothing. Again, we're trying to take him out before he takes us out. One of our guys commits suicide. Um. Yeah, just <laughs> quite an odd game. Uh, finally managed to get a decent amount of damage. Um, still a very decent tank. This thing. Um, quite quite competitive. Uh, I enjoy playing it. I'm gonna enjoy getting. Um, Enjoy getting the second mark on this thing, um, a lot more, more, a lot more than the uh, nameless. That's for sure. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope to see you in the next episode. Bye.